Hello Tudesters, it's Gav and welcome to the third, fourth instalment on this build vlog of the 1 in 35 scale uh, T55 uh, from Mini Art with a Fill Interior. Uh, as it says by the title, I would probably thought now to put fail on it. Uh, it's not gone according to plan, uh, to say the least. I, I've had some uh, real uh, issues with alignments. Um, the problem you have is you you build the the obviously tanking or especially the interior in sub assemblies, and uh, while you're building the sub assemblies, everything's going great. You know, <laughs> you're getting the satisfaction of you cutting your bits of styrene off and sanding them and all the rest of it. Uh, and I, although I was putting some bits and pieces into the tank itself, uh, I had the inkling that um, I was going to have some real alignment issues. It's, it's not really anything to do with the, the kit, the company, whatever. It's all down to me being a newbie builder. Uh, they are right um, in saying that, uh, you know, it's really for the for the more developed modeler, you know, with a few good few kits under their belt, probably. Um, when I was building, say, the engine cradle, which I'll point out in a minute uh, when we go down to the bench, um, it, it there wasn't any clunk click uh, pins as such you know there's some little holes and, and that to put bits in but there's there's real you you just knew that as you or I knew as I was building it that I was likely going to have problems when I actually got to fitting them inside the, the hull of the tank uh, and that's proved to be the case I've put one of these side walls of the hull in um, and as you know, it's all pre-built with, you know, you put your tank rounds on and all the other bits and pieces, fire extinguishers, view imports, everything that, you know, obviously goes on. And uh, I've had some real problems just even getting the side piece on. Uh, none of the bits where the, the you've got the cradles for the tank rounds, uh, they've got their pegs which fit in the holes. Well, because you're all building them as sub-assemblies, you're... Uh, you're not knowing how they're going to really fit until till they come together, uh, and uh, that's been the case with me. Uh, I really do think when I say it's irretrievable. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to rescue it at the moment with my skill level. So I just I just don't, um, which is a real shame because I've, I've really been enjoying it. Uh, I'm not being a defeatist over it. I've not gone out of love with the kit. I haven't lost mojo and all the other good things that, that you know you, you can have. Uh, it, you know, I just don't see how I'm gonna at this point in time without absolutely trying to break things off and dismantling it. And I'm just not prepared to do that at the moment. Uh, I don't see how it's gonna. I've already had the odd shell drop off already. You know, um, uh, whereas I've been pushing and pulling and trying to get things into into position. So. Join me down at the bench. We'll have a look at this. Uh, for anybody, uh, I will say for anybody following these build vlogs that I do, it's like the Starfighter one. Um, I said I fell on my face with that uh, the other day. Victor, one of my subscribers and fellow YouTuber, uh, he he said, "Well, no, it's you know more or less my words, but a, a learning curve. You know, it's you know you learn as you go." And he's completely right. We're both figure painters, and you get better as you as you go with the figures. Um, as I say, I'm not. I'm downhearted because I'm really enjoying the project. Um, I hope you don't think I'm stringing you along with these build vlogs when we're getting so far in. Oh well, you know they disappear. It's not that at all. Um, I do the build vlogs as well for myself. Um, I, I was determined to show myself. And obviously, I didn't really do that in figure painting because I was figure painting way before I ever had a YouTube channel. And my channel's been going years now. It's just a case of. Um, I like to put the videos up. It shows <laughs> it was supposed to show my progression on on different kits, and it will do. I'm determined to uh, to get back, um, you know, modelling and uh, you know to, to do something viable. Yes, you know, I'm quite sure a lot of people have been saying under the breath, "Well, Gav, you've been, you know, biting off way more than you can chew with some of these some of these ideas. Just do a simple kit, I suppose." Uh, but I've always thought, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound, as we say in the UK, you know, you um, honestly thought, well, I'll learn as I go, you know, it's uh, it's just, yes, it's it's more involved, but I wasn't out to build loads of kits in a year, you know, it's 
as I've always said to you guys, if I build a few, I build a few. Uh, obviously, I'm, I, fi I paint figures, war games figures mainly for a living, and uh, I paint the larger ones for collecting for myself. So you know, I've got other things on the go as well. But uh, I really enjoy uh, getting back into my scale modelling, and as I say, I. Uh, it's not a defeat in a sense because you're learning. Um, I'm not throwing it away. It's not going in the bin. I should put it in a box. <laughs> uh, and as we, if you follow the very first one, I've got a the same kit. I've got a duplicate of the same kit. Maybe in a couple of years' time, I'll put that together, and uh, it might actually go. Um, as I say, that you know, it's, a, it's a, I can't see at the moment without busting bits and pieces off how I'm going to even get this into an, any any form of alignment. So, yeah, as I say, I apologise for anybody following the, this particular build and saying it's a cop-out, um, you know, when you, you're not seeing a completed project. Uh, but, as I say, it's not for the one to try in. It's just going to have to take a step back um, and probably do what <laughs> most people probably do, which is just start on simple kits and work my way up, I suppose. So, guys... Join me down at the bench and we'll quick have a quick look at this uh, at this interior so far. Right guys, thanks for joining me down at the bench. We'll have a view of this kit. I apologise for all the little 18 mil soldiers in the background, but I wasn't going to start cleaning them all off um, to, to get this quick video done. As we all know, my videos tend to be fire and forget, rather than uh, ultra polished and edited videos. And in fact, I don't think I've ever edited a video in my life. Right. Um, where does it start all going wrong? This bulkhead that you see here, that's just put into place. Um, you see I've had a shell break off from this uh, this main casing already. Uh, let's see if we can get in closer. Uh, this slides onto the, uh, as you can see here, onto the main uh, base of the hull and it goes into if you can just see down there a peg well there's no way that that's oh, sorry a hole for a peg which is is on here there is no way that that is going to go down if I take it off because it isn't glued in that is not going to go down these these shells are, are glued to the side of the uh, the engine cradle there and this wood, I'm completely trying to look over the camera here. Uh, in fact, let's take that off a second. If you'll see that hole down there, that's supposed to fit in, and it just doesn't. There is no way when you build those shells up that you have any idea where, you know, if you're going to be over the height wise on them, you know, it's going to push things out. And that's exactly what it does. It just will not go anywhere near that hole. Uh, the the actual side piece here, obviously you build that up in, in sections, um, it's glued here and you can see these giant gaps all around it. Um, let's just pick this pick the camera up for a second, sorry for this. And so this is a bit of an ad hoc video, I was just starting working trying to get this, I knew last night that I was probably going to have an epic fail on my hands. Um, and tipping everything off. There's just gaps. There's just gaps in this uh, side of the tank. This, these shell cradles here, where the tank rounds go. As you can see, they have they have uh, pegs, and there's no way in a. You might get that one in there with a lot of glue and some type of clamping, but if you put a clamp on this, it'll just all fall apart. The bottom clamp. Sorry, you can't see it all. The bottom clamp has no chance of clamp peg even has no chance of getting in there you can see the great big gap along here um, when you build this up as a, all these are obviously stuck together um, in pieces you know it's not obviously one piece obviously it's a model kit so there's four or five pieces to make that shell cradle up um, and you're building that up separately you're building this up separately I mean even that's not not straight um, when I put it in the other the other day as you can, I did on my last video you can see there nothing's fitting particularly 
straight. So it's just I, I just knew as I was carrying on working with it this week, and I've probably done another you know four hours or so on it, maybe five, I don't know. Um, but you can see nothing. The minute you start getting those tolerances, you know, out you know out of whack, <laughs> good technical word, uh, you you just you know you, you nothing's going to fit, and I just knew it. You know, all the all the work I was doing, I I, I got a feeling that at some stage. <laughs> everything would go pear-shaped. I mean, you see the battery, uh, battery, keep calling it the battery cradle, the engine cradle. Um, that, I mean, that's supposed to go in there, in that hole there. And yes, I can do that, and it'll just throw the cradle out anyway. Um, you build that up separately, and it then goes into two grooves in the, the, the deck there. Um, you know, I don't know how you could have done that. I mean, I suppose you could have actually built that using using that as a bit of a jig, I suppose. But again, it's it's not you know it's newbie type mistakes. But unfortunately, with this, that's where being an experienced modeler comes into it. it it's you don't see the problems down the road, and you can't, you know. Um, which is, uh, I honestly thought I could model my way through it. I wasn't expecting it to be a spectacular build, you know, that that people began who are about. Um, but I thought that I could I could pull it off that I could you know um, make something with it, but uh, it's just not going to happen. Which is uh, is gutting. As I say, um, so I'm not lost my will to uh, turn out a decent kit or even to work on this one again maybe at some stage. But I just can't see for the life of me unless I strip all these bits off and start again. I really can't see how I'm going to get anything to line up. We've got the second uh, bulkhead to put in or side piece. Again that's that's had a lot of work in itself just adding bits on and painting them all separately and saying that was all doing that was all enjoyable because you were just putting bits on but there's no you know to try and get that bulkhead to sit on or side piece whatever you want to call it to sit on the other side it's just not because everything's going to be thrown out by this and the other side um, yeah and that's obviously without building the uh, the gun cradle up and all the gubbins that goes in there the engine because this this cradle is is out I honestly I, I, I was more worried about that to begin with because I thought when I when I put that in the other night I thought yep I can see this because it's a big old engine as you've as you've seen and I'm just thinking that's either going to get too high and I won't be able to put the top on or yeah it's um yeah it's uh it's a bit deflating um, at least I've been up to see the inside of a T55 which is <laughs> something uh yeah it, it, it's uh, it's one of those things it's uh you know maybe I have tried to bite off more than I can chew um so it'll be yet another kit in a box that's uh, that's going to have to be rebuilt at some stage but um, I cannot see how I can progress this in all honesty and as I say it's not a loss of mojo or defeatism even um, unless I break everything off and I just I'm not going to do that not at the moment uh, you know I'm not going to go back to this for a bit so guys uh, I'm afraid the build vlog for the T55 ends here um, I've got other kits to do which I'll I mean I've got the Landvaser Schlepper which um, I've actually been trying to um, do a bit of sculpting for that. Actually, sculpt some figures. That's what I want to. It's not been. That's what's been holding that whole build up. Is <laughs> Gav's been, Gav's been trying to sculpt some figures for it. Um, so, uh, guys, thanks a lot for stopping by and taking a look. We might have a happier one. <laughs> we'll actually have a happy, happy, shiny face video one day on something. Uh, but yeah, uh, thanks for stopping by and taking a look. Uh, we, you will probably see the Landvaser Schlepper, one is 72 build, um, you'll see that in the next couple of weeks. The Musketeer is, I've just been just doing the plinth and the base for him and uh, I've got to stick all the just the extra bits and pieces on his body and, and he's, he's completed so you should see him next week, sometime in the early part of next week. Um, so guys, take care of yourselves, enjoy your hobbies. Uh, thanks for stopping by um, 
and we will catch each other very, very soon on another video. Cheers.